Okay, guys, welcome back to the Well Doing Mama, and today I am going to plan out our week. So, our last week, I did not get done nearly the amount of school. I thought we'd get started back on school last week, and come to find out, we went ice skating, we played games with friends, and we spent a lot of time working on art projects. So, we did not get to a whole lot of school. We got to a little bit, and my older kids got to quite a bit. But as a general, we did not get back to a lot of school. So I'm going to start with my washi tape. I'm still waiting on, and it's my fault, I didn't order them soon enough. I ordered some very fun January and February, a couple of kits with some Christmas money from Etsy. And I haven't gotten them yet. I don't know what color I'm looking for. And they will. they have some really fun pieces, so... I will show you those when I get them, but I should have ordered them sooner. But that's okay, because I have plenty of stuff I can use. So I start with washi tape blocking off our extra section. That extra section is where I like to put my kids' work hours. If there's something my husband has going on that doesn't affect me necessarily, like he's going, has a, like a work thing at night or something like that. Something that does not affect my time directly goes up here in the extra section. So I might have to drop a kid at work, or maybe they're going out with a friend. And I need to keep that in mind, but I don't have to work around that. This bottom section is our meals, and I think I will start there this week. So Monday we are having Cheesy Mac in the Instant Pot. I have not been using my Instant Pot much, so... I'm going to try to go back to Monday's being an Instant Pot meal, although I don't have that on my meal plan, so who knows. Tuesday, I have potato soup. Wednesday, I have leftovers, although I think we most of the kids will be eating at Awana's on Wednesday night, so that will be nice. Thursday, I have French toast, but we actually had French toast last week because we had a piano recital on Thursday. And I needed something super fast, so I flip-flopped our French toast and our breakfast pizza. And so we'll have breakfast pizza this week. Friday, we will get Little Caesars because we are having a game night. And then Saturday, I have chili. And Sunday, I have cheesy chicken soup. Hmm. I think I'm going to move this chicken parm down here. And then move the chili over to Sunday. I did not make the chicken parm this week. We actually had some gift money and we went and got sushi and hibachi for the kids that don't like sushi. So that was what we did last night and it was so good. Okay, so there's our meals. I don't know my son's work schedule off the top of my head. Because he doesn't like to tell me this fun game we play. But that's okay. I could look at his email, but I don't want to. Okay, Tuesday. I'm going to put in the first thing is co-op. Now, I actually don't know that we'll have co-op on Tuesday. Because we have a major winter storm coming. And that may be, may end up having to cancel. We try really hard not to cancel, but. Okay, and then after that. We will have piano lessons down here. No. So piano lessons. We do some on Tuesday. We may do some on Thursday. Okay. So then we have Wednesday. We will have Luana. So I just like to block off that, that way. And then Thursday... Nope, I'm not cleaning house Thursday. Thursday, I'm grocery shopping. Okay, we'll put these in. Friday, I pay the bills, balance the checkbook, that kind of stuff. And Friday after lunch, we clean house. So this gets done before lunch. We do school, and then we will clean house, and then maybe done because Friday night, and I said this, is going to be a game night, a teen game night. I need to put out a reminder about that. 
And then Saturday, we have a basketball game, and I don't know what time. Okay. I gotta pull up my calendar. Sunday, we, I like to block off a large portion of Sunday because of church. And I can still use this build a snowman because there probably will be enough snow out to build a snowman. We have basketball practice Thursday night from 7.30 to 8.30 for one kid. Basketball practice 7.30. And then we have the game on Saturday from 5 to 6. So that will go right there. That will actually mess up me. Make, that's why I was going to make chili. <gasps> okay. I will still do chicken parm, but I'm just going to do it in the crock pot, which is not nearly as good as real chicken parm. But it's a super simple, fast chicken parm that I can just throw in the crock pot. Because we have basketball so late, we need a crock pot meal. See, I thought of that when I planned my meal plan. I forgot it by now. Okay, so I think that is everything I have on the schedule, on the calendar. Oh, I need to put grocery shopping in. Where did my grocery stickers go? I really should organize my stickers. Can I just do those on the floor? I might actually, after this, I'm going to do a video of my. January and February. I'm going to combine January and February and do a list of... So let me show you my folder of stickers. Here it is. Really pathetic, right, guys? So I am going to... I think somebody just got home. That's why the dog's barking. I am going to maybe find stickers here. Oh, here they are. Here's some. Okay, these will work. See what I mean? So after this, what was I saying? I'm going to film a video that I'm going to show you my January and February. I'm going to combine January and February kind of goals, but kind of just a to-do list of some priorities of things that I need to do. So I like to go shopping Thursdays after lunch. I find that works well. I get the toddler down for a nap and then I can go grocery shopping and then we can finish up if there's school and stuff. Oh, sorry. Move the whole thing. Oh, good. Okay. So now I need to fill in what I actually want to get accomplished. Oh, on these days. Okay. So here I also need to do my co-op planning for the next week, which shouldn't be too hard because I got yesterday. I sat down and I filmed it. So we'll see how that kind of comes out. But I planned out the next entire semester for my chemistry class. Physics is a lot more, a lot easier other than finding some labs and stuff. It's just, there's fewer kids and there's just a little less work with it. But the chemistry, I got the entire rest of the year planned out, so I'm super excited. But I might have some note sheets. If we don't have co-op, then I'll definitely need to be making a video to teach the material so that next week we can catch up and do several labs. Okay, so Monday is wide open and I can get a lot of school done on Monday. So I'm going to start with some of my older kids that I need to check some of their work because they got a lot of work done last week and I did not get to checking at all. So I need to get that checked. And then, okay, I need to get those done. And then my toddler is wanting to do her preschool and I want to read to the littles. And I should have time to do all of this because we have nothing on Wednesday and we're, or Monday and we're probably not leaving the house because we're getting snow. Tuesday, we have co-op. The kids don't have any school after that, really. Wednesday, again, we have a very open day. So I can... Oh, I forgot to put group time. We are trying... we got to get back into our group time. Our group time, a lot of people call it morning time. I call it group time. We do it at 11 a.m. So at 11 a.m., you can tell my timing's not off here. This is more of a list. But at 11 a.m., the kid, kids involved in this all stop what they're doing. We meet at the table. We go through it. Then I stop, make lunch, serve lunch, all that stuff. 
It does not work for us to do it first thing in the morning. So here's my permission for you to do it when it works for you. And so I want to try to start doing more preschool with my, she's now four year old. And I want to read to them. Let's see if I can try to make the schedule work with, you know, if I write luncheon, where's my yellow? For some reason I like yellow to write luncheon. Okay. So let's write lunch in here. I have a tendency to over plan and try to put too much into my day. And I'm trying to be more careful about that. So let's see, this will probably be, this is 30 minutes. This is going to be an hour. That's going to be 45 minutes. So let's say I can start with him by eight o'clock. So then that's nine, nine forty-five, ten fifteen, 10, 15. And so then I can get this child done. And then that should be, because I'm checking them this morning, I don't know that I'll need to, but if I do, I will put them right here after lunch. And so that gives us, if I do that, I do do a better job of paying attention. So grocery shopping will take from 1 to about 2.30. Yeah, I better give myself plenty of time. Um, like I said, I have this bad tendency to not give myself enough time. And then I get frustrated. So that'll be at 11. So at 11... We will have group time on Thursday. We do not do group time on Friday. We do it Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then I'll have to show you what we do for our group time. Not exactly. Well, no, we have stuff we can pick back up. Okay. And again, the younger kids that are going to need it. Now, this is going to kind of depend on if I check this child on Wednesday. If not, I'll put a question mark there. I'll start with that child if she needs me to check her. She's one of my older kids. And if she needs to be checked, I'll do that. Then I will do, that's my first grader. My preschooler, I did those two days. And if she has co-op, we'll just do reading to the littles and not worry about getting her in. I really want to work on reading with them. So that's going to be, let's say that's 45 minutes if I start at 8. 8.45, 9.45, 10.15, and then I can get that. Yeah. And then if I need to, I will put these two and check them down there. So what I'm also trying to do is take Friday mornings to be our 4-H mornings where we work on some kind of special projects. And so last week we spent a lot of time on Friday. The kids did amazing working on acrylic painting. And they all did really, really awesome making acrylic paintings. And so this week, I'm not exactly sure what project we're going to work on, but I am just going to mark it off as our 4-H time. And I need to go through and kind of see what projects they need to work on. I need to work on planning some of that out. But if nothing else, we'll do another art project or they'll start research for, there's how oh, actually... I will probably start the health books, the food and health. That is probably what I will start. Then Saturday, I will make my Saturday list later. Saturday will tend to be a pretty, the kids will be like, we will be so busy this week doing lots of school that by Saturday, the kids will enjoy some free time. We probably will get out and play in the snow if it is not super cold. Over here, I write my to do's. And so this sec sec second section, like this part down here, after I do my co-op planning, I will write in here what I need to do for co-op. Oh, I need to, here I need to pack co-op. So here I'll write in, like, if I need to make a note sheet or I need to copy a test or whatever I need to, like, do, I write in here so that I have that to kind of constantly see. Down here are extra chores that I want to get done. And so on Friday when we do our chores, if these can be given to the kids, I will. There is the trash can wall in the kitchen. Um, I try to rotate which set of sheets I wash off. I wash. I have a lot of things I want to put on my project list, but that's another day. So then I'm going to put that aside and pull down the kids, the notebook, the planner for the kids' school. This is a simple plan by Mardell. 
I like it because it gives me room for one, two, three, four, five, six, six kids. They have this listed as subjects. I don't do it that way. I list each kid. And then actually I'll list five of the kids. The oldest does his thing. He knows what he needs to accomplish. And for preschool, I don't list anything yet. I also tend to list this as their co-op assignments. Although I may change that because I've been wanting to give them a few assignments sometimes on a Saturday. Like, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. I will probably leave that to be co-op assignments. So the first thing I'll do is write in that Tuesday is co-op. And then each child gets a different color. It just makes it a little easier to see. I'm going to show you last week. And you can see the check marks that are on here. Now, some of this we added in because we did games with friends. We worked on 4-H. They did a few things on Saturday. So we did put a few things on Saturday. My oldest got a lot of stuff done, obviously. But the other kids did not get as much done. And that's okay. I kind of knew it wasn't really going to happen. I had these huge plans and hopes. So now my oldest, I always give her co-op every day to work on. That is her science and history. And I just let her kind of figure out what she needs to get done to accomplish those things. Then obviously she needs to do math and grammar, Spanish, spelling, she has typing, literature. Okay, let's do literature. And I don't know if, how much co-op she has left. So how much co-op work she has for the day really will depend on how much other stuff she can get done. So I will assign her typing here. Logic needs to be twice a week, so I will go ahead and fill that in on Wednesday and Thursday. And she needs spelling every day. And then math is every day. And grammar is every day. But I do need to give her a day to do some art. She is doing some art credit this year. She is a ninth grader. So we will put art there, which is kind of a timed thing, which means I won't put Spanish. I'll put Spanish on these two days. Just typing, we'll put typing here. And oh, literature. Let's do literature here and literature here. I think that covers all of her subjects. Yeah. And sometimes she'll change things around. She'll be like, hey, I really probably should do this. Or, and then when I check her work, the days I check her work, I try to make sure that we're not getting too far behind. We'd actually taken a couple weeks off of grammar work because she'd gotten pretty far in grammar and not as far in literature or in math. So we took time off of grammar to do some math. Then the next child, we have group time on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And that will affect him. She doesn't participate in group time. And then I will put co-op in case he has any co-op work left. And then I will put it on Thursday and Friday with question marks because I don't know how much the teachers are going to sign. My high school student has a lot of co-op, but junior high does not have nearly as much. And then we will fill in math, language, arts. I put a check mark box. That's for their reading that goes with their language, arts. He has typing to do. He has piano to do. Oh, I wanted to put, oh yeah, I'm going to add in Bible. He doesn't know that yet, but he'll be so happy. That was sarcasm. I mean, he'll enjoy doing the Bible, I don't. So then here he will have math, language arts, piano, Bible, and then he is working through a coding book. That's his like logic right now. And then I'm going to put 4-H, and he will work on something from his 4-H list. And then we will do math, language arts, piano. He did Bible twice. I think that'll be good. He'll do coding twice. Actually, we'll probably do Bible here. But 
And then I'll put 4-H. I'll put coding with a question mark and 4-H there so he can work on something from that. And then we are going to do 4-H for the morning. And if he has any co-op work, he'll need to get that done. He needs to do piano. And he only had typing once, so we're going to put piano and typing that day. So you can see my things just flex based on the week. This week we have a lot of school time, but we're also trying to work on some special projects and build in time for those special projects. I will also kind of look at it and see, and if he's done at like 1 o'clock, I'll be like, we probably need to do some more work. Okay, I know she does not have any co-op this week. But I know she has group time three days, so we will put that in. And then I will put co-op here on Friday and Thursday. She probably won't have enough to do it both days. And then I'll put 4-H. She will do piano and her handwriting. Okay. So she has math, language arts, piano, handwriting. She has an apologetics course that she's working through. And let me go back and see if there's anything I missed. Oh, she has a crochet project. So that is, it is a 4-H project, but it's, she is working on crochet and we are going to try to get that finished maybe this week. And then math, language arts, piano, Handwriting, crochet. I'll put apologetics in a question mark. And so what they know is that the ones with question marks are ones that we save for the end of the day. And if we have time and it's not three o'clock yet, we need to get, we can go ahead and do that extra work. But if it's later in the day, Thursday, they do my grocery shopping. So that takes us a little bit of time out of the day. Then they know that they don't. So group. Now this child is in third grade. She might have some co-op. Her co-op though requires me to help usually because it's reading. She actually does not, her work doesn't tend to take her too long. So she can tend to have a few more things. So she is working on a latch hook kit. So we are definitely putting that on there. I think that's everything because I know she does not have any co-op to worry about. Oh, they, well, they'll also, I'll write on here, piano lessons, because those three will have that. I use this book to help me when I go back to count up hours. We are supposed to do a set number of hours in our state. Nobody ever checks. There's no, like, check on it, but I personally like to make sure that I'm actually accomplishing what I have legally said I'm going to. So I use this book to help me count up those hours and make sure we are meeting that goal. Okay, so again, math, language arts, piano, handwriting, latch hook. Now this child just needs more stuff to keep him busy because most of his work is just stuff he does with me. You'll notice I write piano on here, but his piano takes him maybe five minutes. That's just all he has right now, which is fine. But most of his work is done with me, and so he often needs me to add in some extra things. So I'm not going to put a lot on there, but oftentimes I will be like, hey, why don't you go do Starfall on the tablet, or we need to go do some building time. Or something of that sort. I will you often assign him something. Sometimes he goes off and plays with the four-year-old really, really nicely. And sometimes he needs a little more direction. So I do add in stuff. If there are items that we do, like I'm like, hey, let's go do this. Or hey, let's play a game or something like that. Sometimes I'll even assign an older kid to play a game with a younger kid. Right now, I feel like everybody has pretty full schedules, but especially during the summer or during times when maybe we don't have as full of schedule, I'll assign that. So there is our week of what we are hoping to get done. Hopefully, next week when I plan out, I can come back and show you what we accomplished. 
I'm hoping it's a lot more than it was last week. But we did a lot of, we still did fun things and good things. It just wasn't what I'd actually planned out necessarily. And that's okay. I always want to be flexible and I want to take advantage of developing friendships, you know, doing the things. We had free ice skating. I want to take advantage of that because it's not something we always go pay to do. And it's great exercise. You'll notice there's not a lot of exercise on here because it is winter. If we go outside and play in the snow, we will. But if it's, you know, 10 degrees outside, we won't. And they will just run around the house. We probably will go, depending on the weather, we have a local trampoline park we often go to. I'm not even putting that on our list, but if we go, I will come back and add it. But I just don't know with the weather what days I'll be able to get out of the house this week. So there's a look at our my planning for the week. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks for joining us today. Please leave a comment if you have something else you'd like me to talk about or you have any questions. Please hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos about what we do.